Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I just recorded this voiceover and then realized that the entire um, time my microphone was plugged into my headphone jack so I sounded like I was underwater because I was using my laptop's um, mic so I have to redo it now um, but I'm not super sad about it because I do have a lot to say about this and I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't mind redoing it as long as it makes a nice video in the end. But yeah, it's been a long time since I've uploaded something. Um, I guess I took a little bit of a break after watercolor week. That's the last time you guys saw me, I believe. And I just don't know how to feel about that experience. I did enjoy organizing everything and I was super excited whenever I came up with the idea and um, I was excited making the art for it and filming and all of that. It was just a bit stressful trying to get a video up every day. Um, I wish I would have been more prepared and I don't know. I just, the thing is I was on vacation um, whenever I came up with the idea. So then I came back from the, that vacation and then that week I was just trying to get everything to get, get everything together and I filmed a few of the videos, but um, I did slack off and not film all of them. So then the week after that, I was on vacation again for my sister's um, softball. And then I was trying to work on the videos while I was there. I did edit a few, but then I got back and I only had like about three videos done. And so I had to film four videos the week of watercolor week and edit those and upload them and also edit and upload a few videos that I already had filmed. So it was just a big mess, sort of. It was just very um, stressful, I guess. I just wish I would have been more prepared, but I am happy with the end result. I just deleted one video because I wasn't happy with it. It was too rushed and every time I looked at the thumbnail, I just... I just hated it so I did take it down but I will be doing another watercolor review type video soon so I'll just count that as making up for that one deleted video but yeah today's video is going to be me drawing with crayons um, a challenge of sorts I guess you could call it a challenge I I don't know how I feel about calling these things challenges because for a lot of people this is just their art supplies like this is what they have to use they can't afford anything more expensive or they're very young and so I feel like calling it a challenge almost belittles those people. I'm fine I'm fine with calling it a challenge. I will call it a challenge just because it gets more views, I guess. Um, more people want to look at something at an art challenge than just, oh, drawing with crayons. Like, I don't know, it just makes it more special, I think, to some people whenever I call it a challenge, but um, I don't know. <laughs> That's just a weird thing that happens in my brain whenever I call something a challenge. But yeah, this is a Crayola crayon quote unquote challenge. And so the basic idea is to draw with crayons. And then I also wanted to ink it with Sharpie markers just to make it more of like a cheapy challenge type thing. Um, and just to show that once again, you don't need expensive art materials to make nice art. Not that this art is like the best ever, that's not what I'm trying to say, I don't mean to sound conceited, but I do think that you don't need expensive materials to have fun making art, and a lot of people use cheap materials and make really nice art, so yeah, that's just my little splurge on that. You'll hear that every time somebody uploads a cheap art supply challenge, but I just like to reiterate that because it's, it's a true thing, so yeah, um, so I'm coloring this picture of Pearl um, from Steven Universe with crayons. Just a warning, this video will have minor Steven Universe spoilers. Um, but yes, this is Pearl from the episode Mr. Greg, which just happened in the Steven Summer of Steven event, which is over the day that I'm recording this. Is it super sad? But I just really liked this episode. I liked the song in this episode. I liked the look and feel of this episode. It was a major plot episode and I was just really happy with it. It's one of my favorites, I think, of the entire series. So yeah, I was just really happy with this episode and so I wanted to draw something from it and I also wanted to do a Crayola challenge, or a crayon video again, because it's been a while. I drew Misty, I think, last time. But yeah, so that's what I did and I had fun lining with the Sharpies and the Crayola, the crayons, um, <laughs> I did have fun with them, but they are a little bit stressful to work with, especially when you're used to things that blend a little bit more easily. These are 
a little bit of a challenge, but I enjoyed doing it and it just it's just a stress relieving kind of thing. So yeah, I really recommend drawing with crayons if you have the means of doing it. And yeah, um, it's been a while since I've done Steven Universe fan art, so I'll just reiterate that this show is very inspiring to me. Um, I highly recommend it for anyone um, of all ages, really. Like, I'm 14 now and I still watch it. It's a little bit um, of a dorky thing, I guess. But I there's a lot of people who are older and enjoy this show, so don't feel embarrassed for watching it, is all I have to say. Um... And yeah, I just think it's a really great show. I love the art style. I love, it has a lot of great messages in it. And I would just be, um, if I had children, I would want them to be watching this show because it's really, really, it's really great. Um, and yeah, so that's all I have to say for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I will be back with new ones soon. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.